Artificial intelligence is all over the place, including the weather. It's helping many weather forecasters in communicating the weather. WCNC Charlotte's Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich shows us how the National Weather Service is using the time-saving tool. Essentially, the main goal of the project is to get our weather uh, alerts and information into the hands of people with limited English proficiency. Chris Horbach is the meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in Columbia, South Carolina, and he's part of this project. The partnership with LILT involves their patented AI, which learns through feedback from bilingual forecasters and translation experts. It enhances the efficiency and accuracy of those translations over time. The time it saves has been incredible. The San Juan forecast office used to take hundreds of hours to translate hurricane products to Spanish, but now with the lilt. We um, cut down the amount of time needed uh, to translate uh, these critical weather information products from about an hour to, to less than 10 minutes. The project has opened doors to Spanish translations for multiple weather forecast offices, including those here in the Carolinas, benefiting a broader population. Now, future plans involve translating products into Vietnamese, as well as Chinese and other languages that are offered. One thing that's important to know is that our the, the main, the, the purpose of this experimental site is to collect feedback from the public, from users, so that we can drive expansion um, of this project.